Hey guys, there's Soft Tech here and welcome back. Today we're gonna to be talking about polishing your airsoft parts. Um, really why you should polish some versus why you shouldn't polish others. You know, a lot of people kind of look at polishing your gears, your bushings, your barrel, your piston rails, your tappet plate uh, guides as really kind of gimmicky. And you know, honestly, it's one of those things where I'm not sure if it's a true measurable performance gain uh, or not, um, I just like to do it to some things because I feel like there is a performance gain in, this, in those few things that I polish. Now, some people just polish things because it's fun and they like a shiny, a shiny gearbox full of shiny parts. And that's totally fine if you have hours and hours of time to dedicate to polishing those parts. Um, so let me tell you what I think about polishing a couple parts and uh, yeah. Now, polishing really isn't that hard, it's just really time consuming. And if you're somebody who's a stickler for the details, then you're probably going to be at your gearbox polishing it for quite some time to get it to the point where you are satisfied with it. Um, now, really all you need to polish is some polishing compound, a Dremel with some polishing attachments, like a little wire attachment that goes on the tip of the Dremel, and also a cloth wheel attachment that goes at the tip of the Dremel as well and um, that'll get you started polishing. Now, if you have the resources at your disposal or you want to spend money on it, you can always get a bench grinder that you can get a polishing wheel attachment for it. Um, and that'll make polishing some larger objects a little bit easier and less time consuming than a Dremel would make it. Um, but really, let's talk about some of the things that are worth polishing, in my opinion, and some of the things that you really just shouldn't worry about polishing at all. All right, so my basic philosophy with polishing things for your airsoft gun is basically a cost-benefit analysis. How much time does this cost me versus how much benefit am I getting from it? And it's costing you a decent bit of time to polish things, and you're also not getting an absolute ton of benefit by polishing things. So if you're going to commit to polishing, do it on things that matter. And the things that matter in terms of polishing, if there really is much of a benefit to polishing, is where there is contact within the gearbox of things that are moving continuously or have movement against themselves. So here are the things that I think that you should polish if you're gonna dedicate the time to polishing. So the first thing is bushings. Now, anything that has contact, that makes contact, contact with another item that is moving should probably be polished, again, if you're gonna dedicate the time to doing it. Polishing the, the very surface of your bushings that make contact with the shims, the gear, and stuff like that, that's probably a good idea. Especially if you get a really nice fine finish on it, your gear axle is just gonna glide around that bushing. If you're gonna be polishing the bushings, you might as well polish the gear axles as well. Now, a lot of people polish the whole gear set, um, including the axle, axles of the gear set. Um, I really don't think you should polish the whole gear set. I mean, maybe unless you really just want to polish the whole you know, XYT gear set, you might as well. Um, but I don't think you should polish, especially aftermarket gear set surfaces. I feel like that's kind of silly. And if you're gonna polish anything on them, you might as well polish the axles that make contact with the bushings that you just polished. So I think if you're gonna polish the bushings and maybe the inner channel of the bushing as well, you might as well polish the gear axles. Um, personally, I don't polish the gear surfaces unless I'm just really, really bored and I have an XYT gear set laying around that I wanna just look into and see myself. Um, other than that, I don't polish the gear surfaces, just the gear axles. Next, I think polishing the piston rails is probably a good idea. A lot of stock gearbox shells and even some upgrade shells included tend to have a little bit of rough spots around the piston rails where the piston's supposed to just simply easily glide on. So if you polish these areas up, make them nice and smooth, your piston's gonna be that much happier, reciprocating back and forth. Now the tappet plate is much like the piston in this scenario as it has a channel to got to kind of go back and forth within that kind of keeps it held there. And so polishing up this area, you know, the tappet plate guide rails and the surfaces for which the tappet plate touches is also probably a decent idea. At least that's something that I do whenever I do feel like polishing up a gearbox shell. Moving on to one of our last items, the inside of the cylinder. Now a lot of cylinders, especially stock cylinders, are extremely rough on the inside. They can have you know, little gashes, little surface level nicks in them that really 
I don't like. I feel like when I polish the inside of the cylinder head, it's helping to kind of assist my air seal into being more consistent. And again, if you're gonna take the time to polish a lot of things in your gearbox shell, do it on the things that have the most likely chance of having a performance gain, or at the very least, a durability and a longevity gain, which I think polishing the inside of a cylinder, probably there's a good argument for that. All right, the last item on the list is the inside surface of your inner barrel. Now, this is where I think there is the best argument for polishing any part of your airsoft gun. Um, the inside surface of your inner barrel tends to have a lot of imperfections within it, um, especially stock brass barrels. No matter how high quality the gun is out of the box, it will have some inner barrel, uh, inner surface imperfections that are pretty easily polished out. Um, so I think you should definitely do that if you're going to run a brass 6.08 millimeter barrel or you just don't feel like buying an upgrade barrel, absolutely, positively. Uh, polish the inside surface of your inner barrel. Some people will argue with me over this and, and say that there's no performance gain or that if there is a performance gain, it's completely negligible. Um, and in my opinion and experience, uh, polishing the inside surface of your inner barrel definitely has some noticeable gains in performance, especially when you pair it with an R-hop um, with a really nice well-cut nub and some heavyweight BBs, you're gonna get awesome accuracy and uh, just awesome performance in general. So this is one that I think that you should absolutely do if you're gonna be running a stock brass barrel or even do it to a, you know, a ZCI 6.02. You might as well polish up your nice steel barrel as well just to make it that much nicer. Again, polishing things is kind of gimmicky. Um, really, there's an argument to be made that almost all of these will offer no noticeable performance gain. Um, but if you're somebody who likes to put a lot of time, a lot of effort into their airsoft guns, and a lot of quality work into things in general, um, then it wouldn't hurt your gun to, to polish these items, especially if you have the time. If you don't, don't worry about it. No harm, no foul. But uh, if you, again, if you're like the person that I described previously, um, then those are the things that you wanna take time to polish uh, to have any chance of seeing a noticeable gain in your airsoft gun's performance. All right guys, that's gonna do it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. And if you wouldn't mind, please subscribe to my YouTube channel for more airsoft tech themed content. Like this video and comment down below. Tell me what you think of my items that you should polish list. Um, I think those are the things that you should polish if, again, you're going to put the time into it. Um, but maybe I forgot something and maybe I didn't put something on the list that needs to be on there. So let me know down below.